Shabbat Shalom. There's going to be a quiz today. There are going to be a bunch of quizzes today. I will probably forget at least three things that I have to ask you. But we're counting the Omer. So before we even start, do you know what night we are of the Omer? Tonight, we'll be at 39 tonight. I was warned that for those of, of us who do not count the new day until after the sun has really gone down, I shouldn't say that it's 39. I should say tonight we would be counting, we will be counting 39, and then everybody could be covered. Um, what? And how many, how many weeks? It's five and four. Every day it's, every week it's like, yeah, five, it's four, something like that. Um, so we're at 39, and it's Rosh Chodesh on Friday, which means we've got to talk about Rosh Chodesh today, about what's coming up next, because it's a new month. So, uh, so here's a good quiz for you. What's the new Jewish month that's coming on Friday? Winnie the Pooh. It's not Winnie the Pooh. We are at ER. That's the one. ER reminds us of Winnie the Pooh. We are leaving Winnie the Pooh territory and we are moving into, I don't know, is this like, does it remind you of a seesaw? It's Sivan. I don't know what, what, what's your, I don't know what's your mnemonic. The front row is having too much fun today already. I can tell you that. Um, but we're going to be starting the month of Sivan. So later in the service, I might ask you both of those questions. I have a cheat sheet. Ha <laughs> ha. So I put you on the spot, but I do have a cheat sheet, so hopefully I will remember these things later. Um, there are other things happening this week. On Wednesday, it's Yom Yerushalayim, and, uh, which is Jerusalem Day. It's one of the new holidays. In May, we have, or around this time of the year, we have a bunch of new holidays, and by new, I mean less than thousands of years old. Um, and so some of them are like, Yom HaAtzmaut, Israel Independence Day, which we already did, and Yom HaShoah, which is the Holocaust Remembrance Day. But Yom Yerushalayim is a day that remembers the Six-Day War and the reunification of Jerusalem. It's one of the things we remember. Although a few years ago, instead of celebrating a 50th year of reunification, we celebrated a 3,000th birthday of Jerusalem because we've made the day to coincide to both, it, it, it happened to coincide to both events. So... We will remember that, and I'm going to tell you this now because I'm using my phone for this. I was told that there's a movie coming to town on Tuesday night. Did you hear about this? I tried to find a good six-day war movie to show, and then it turns out that there's one coming, and it's going to play on Tuesday night, which happens to be the beginning of uh, Yom Yerushalayim. It's called In Our Hands, The Battle for Jerusalem but it is a CBN network. Do you know what that means, CBN? Christian Broadcasting Network. So they put it together, and the preview that I saw looks really powerful, and it's playing in one place. It's playing everywhere that it's playing. It's only playing that one night on the evening of, of Yom Yerushalayim. Um, and in Shreveport, it's playing actually in the city of Vosier City at the Regal Cinema, so at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. So I'm going to try to get a ticket it's in Bozier at the Regal Cinema in Bozier. I'm going to try to get it. It's very powerful. It's based on real interviews and, and a real story, and we'll see, we'll see whether what, what it is or not and uh, how powerful, what it winds up being. It looks very powerful. It looks like a very good representation of that war. Um, you remember then where you were in the Six-Day War? Mm-hmm. I think we all were sitting over our radio. I think we were um, holding our breath for a whole week. You were there with, on, shortly after it ended. Wow. So talk to Debbie. She was there. <laughs> she was living through it. She carried the flag, she said. Um, Anyway, some of what I wanted to talk to is that the Torah portion that we're reading tomorrow, this is my only, com well, it, it's kind of my only commercial for the Torah study tomorrow, is the, we've got a double Torah portion. We're towards the end of the book of Leviticus. Um, and so one of the th things, one of the laws that it talks about is something that I didn't know about until I sat in on a religious school class here. I was very much a grown-up already. 
And it's not that it's a Torah law, it's a Talmud law. Um, and Herb Miller's class taught it to me. And it is, uh, so I always thought that the book of Leviticus meant laws, and it's not about laws, it's about Levites, but still, it felt like there was lots and lots and lots of rules. And this is a rule that we glean from a rule. It has to do with not hurting someone. And it repeats not hurting someone. And it's about not hurting someone with words. But it's not the same thing as not gossiping. There's already a rule about that. So this is a different one. So how do you, not, how do you hurt someone with words if it's not about gossip? And one of the ways, tomorrow we'll talk about more of the ways, that's part of your commercial for tomorrow. One of the ways really intrigued me. One of the ways is that if you go into a store and you ask them how much it costs, but you really had no intention of buying it, that can be breaking a law, breaking a mitzvah. It's a bad thing, it hurts people's feelings. Someone whose job it is, whose, whose livelihood depends on being able to sell things to you, and you come in and you say, oh, this is really beautiful. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. How much is it? And they tell you, and it's $7,000. And you say, wow, yeah, that seems reasonable. And then you walk out and you had no intention of ever buying it. Um, that's considered to be breaking a law. That's, a, that's hurting someone in a way that you shouldn't do. And that's, a, that's a, a, the kind of a law that changes my world. You know, and it doesn't mean, it's, a lot of times we go into a store and we don't know if we're gonna buy it or not, but we might buy it and we can ask then. But the truth is even then I sometimes think twice before I ask. Um, and then what happens when there's no price on it? Like you walk into a supermarket here or something and they forgot to put their tag on it and that's what you wanted but there's no price on it. Ever since I heard that law, I have been loathe to say, oh, by the way, how much does this cost? Because I may not want it, and then maybe I'm hurting somebody's feelings, and I don't want to do that. And it's part of what bugs me when we don't have prices in our gift shop sometimes, <laughs> because it means that someone's got to ask, and it may, be, um, it may make them feel uncomfortable about asking. Some of the other things that fall into the same kind of category is the kind of thing that, that you don't, I guess it's kind of, they, they call it rubbing the salt in the wound. You don't want to hurt somebody who's already hurt. And you don't want to pick on somebody for something that they've already been picked on. Like if somebody becomes Jewish, you don't want to remind them how, you know, the things that they believed in before is not what they believe in now, because that's, that's hurting them. It doesn't help. They, they made choices and they're living by their choices now. Or by extrapolation, things like you don't want to remind someone I'm gonna pick on uh, heart problems. It was one that they gave. If someone had heart problems and became obese and was, and, and was uh, suffering heart problems because of their obesity, and that of course was not you, so I'm not picking on anybody here, but you don't wanna remind them, oh, well, I remember when you used to only eat chocolate cake every day. You don't wanna do that. That's, you know, it's not who they are now and it doesn't help to, to bother them about who they were. You live for, with people for who they are and you treat them respectfully and that's important. And that was one of the laws we learned today. Um, I'm gonna teach you a little bit more about the Torah portion later because I think it has to do with other things that we're dealing with today and I, I like connecting it to our lives. But first, it's really important. I didn't expect to see anybody here today because it's the last day of school. And although almost none of you have anybody in school right now, I think you feel it. And there's this schools out for summer, kind of a, the vibe in the whole community. And why should anybody be here tonight? And I'm very glad you're here tonight. But I want you to leave all that stuff. I want you to remember what it was like to have schools out for summer. And I want you to take a deep breath. And let it out slowly. And relax because school's out for summer. Try it again. In fact, more important than that, is that it's Shabbat. <laughs> so the work week, the stressful week, the to-do list week is out for Shabbat. No more worrying about anything for the rest of the day. So the first thing we're going to do is turn to page 65 in your prayer books, and I'm going to ask Dr. and Mrs. Rubin to please come up, <laughs> and uh, Harvey and Cheryl to please come up and help us bless the candles and the wine, 
If it's comfortable for you, please rise. The custom is that we rise for these blessings. Page 65. As these candles give light to all who behold them, so may we give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu l'had l'itner shel shabbat. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You hallow us with your mitzvot and command us to light, to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Let there be joy. Let there be light. Let there be peace. Let there be Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher kedushanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivahanu Lehahad liknel, lehahad liknel, shel shabbat. We now turn to page 167 and 166 for our Kiddush, the sanctification of the day. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Merach, Halom, Barei, Pri, Hagach. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Amen. L'chaim. <laughs> it's delicious. Please be seated, but first say Shabbat Shalom to somebody you came in with. Good Shabbos to somebody you didn't come in with. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom back there. I already said it to you. Shabbat Shalom, thank you. Tim said goodbye. Shabbat Shalom back there. Now we're going to... Welcome the Sabbath bride. One of the things that I love about Shabbat is having to have a, a really good imagination. And so, Alexander, what's your favorite melody for Lecha Do you have one? What pops into your head for Lecha Dodi? Anything? Is that the one? Should I ask Dad what, which melody pops into his head? Does that work? Let's try that one. Is that good? Lecha dodi likrat kala, page 66. Ne Shabbat ne kabela. Lecha dodi likrat kala, ne Shabbat ne kabela. Shahamur vizachur bedibur echad. Hishmi anu el hamehuchad. Adonai echad ushemo echad. Shemulti ferret litila. Lehadu di li crat kala. Penesha batnika habela. Lehadu di li crat kala. Penesha batnika habela. Lehi crat shabbat lehuvenelha. Kihi mekora brahaha. Mehrosh mi kedem nesucha, sof mahase b'machshav atchila. Lechadu di likrat kala, v'neshabat nikabela. Lechadu di likrat kala, v'neshabat nikabela. Wake up, wake up. Hi toreri, that's what it means, hi toreri. Kiva orechu mi ori, ori ori shir da beri, kevod adonai ala ich nigla. Lehechadu di lihi krat kala, pene shabat nikaha bela. Lehechadu di lihi krat kala, pene shabat nikaha bela. Here she is. Boi v'shalom ateret ba'ala Gam basimcha uvetzohola 
So I picked this service because of our connection to Jerusalem. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness and of the impulse within us for justice and mercy, we pray that this hour of worship may be one of vision and inspiration. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in search and in need. All who bring to this place the offering of their hearts. May our worship here lead us to fulfill our words and intentions with acts of kindness, peace, and love. Amen. We have come together to strengthen our bonds with our people Israel. Like Jews of generations past, we celebrate the grandeur of creation. Like Jews of every age, we echo our people's ancient call for justice. Our celebration is a sharing of memory and hope. We are Jews, but each of us is unique. We stand apart and alone, with differing feelings and insights. And yet, we're not entirely alone and separate, for we are children of one people and one heritage. Our celebration unites many separate selves into a single chorus. And we are one in search of life's meaning. All of us know despair and exaltation. All bear burdens. All have moments of weakness and times of strength. All sing songs of sorrow and love. May our celebration bring us strength along our way. In this circle of hope, in the presence of the sacred, may the heart come to know itself and its best, finding a fresh impulse to love the good. May our celebration lead us to work for the good, and may this Shabbat give strength to us and to our people, Israel. <laughs> Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Humanaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Humanaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Many are the generations of Israel, and in every age we have sought the living God through Sabbath rest and worship. This time and place hold the power to increase our joy in the eternal. O God, even as we seek you in the sanctuary, help us to know that your glory fills all space. Make us understand that you are with us at all times, if we but open our minds to you. We feel your presence in your spirit in our homes and on our ways. We see the beauty of your creation in mountain, sea, and sky, and in the human form. We cre- silence of our own hearts, speaking the truths the heart knows. May we be your witness to the world, your messenger to all the earth. May we show forth your image within us. The divine spark makes us human. <laughs> Uvachai the Hall Beit Israel Ba Agala Ba Agala Uviz Mahan Kariv Vimiru Amen Yeheshmera Ba Mevarach Le Alamul Alme Almaya It Barach 
יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשא בריחו לילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש בכתה ונחמתה דם יהירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן ברכו את אדוני המבורך ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד As day departs, as the dark of night descends, we lift our eyes to the heavens in awe and wonder how hearts cry out. Eternal God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. A vast universe, who can know it? What mind can fathom it? We look out to the endless suns and ask, what are we? What are our dreams and our hopes? What are we that you are mindful of us? What are we that you should care for us? And yet, within us abides a measure of your spirit. You are remote, but oh, how near, ordering the stars and the vast solitudes of the dark yet whispering in our minds that you are closer than the air we breathe. For you have made us little less than divine and crowned us with glory and honor. With love and awe we turn to you, and in the dark of the evening we seek the light of your presence. One and only God, you have made each of us unique and formed us to be united in one family of life. Be with us, eternal one, as we seek to unite our lives with your power and your love. We proclaim now our oneness and our own hope for unity. We acclaim your creative power in the universe and in ourselves, the law that binds world to world and heart to heart. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod Malechu. You may be seated unless you're Alexander. Alexander has to stay standing and come on up. I'll tell you what, while he's coming up, before we do that, there are some traditions that stand for the Shema and some that sit for the Shema. So I'm going to let you do both. I'm going to let you sit and I'm going to let you stand. Because we're going to do one that came out in Israel a short while after the Six Day War. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Thank <laughs> Thank you. 
והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת Alexander was in an awesome presentation. I know I said this last week too, I think, of uh, Aladdin. And, um, and his songs are still bouncing in my head. I can't get rid of them. They're all day long, all night long. And, uh, awesome. <laughs> We continue in English at the bottom of 72. You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God. who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness, a world waiting still to be redeemed, give us, O source of good, the courage to say, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and your love. From Egypt, the house of bondage, we were delivered. At Sinai, amid peals of thunder, we bound ourselves to your purpose. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, we survived oppression and exile, time and again overcoming the forces that would have destroyed us. Our failings are many. Our <coughs> the vision of a world redeemed. May this vision never fade. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we sing with one accord, as Moses, Miriam, and Israel sang at the shores of the sea. Ve'ne'emar, and it has been said, the Eternal One delivered Jacob and redeemed us from the hand of one stronger than ourselves. Baruch atah Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael, we praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. We praise you, guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. O God of Israel, May our worship on this day help us to grow in loyalty to our covenant with you and to the way of life it demands, the way of gentleness and justice, the path of truth and of peace. Mm-hmm. 
for the tefillah, which begins on page 76. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agiti hilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu vimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Lea Elohe Rachel Ha'el Hagadol Hagibur Vahanora El Elyon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Vekonehe Hakol Vizocher Haste Avot Vimahot ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן ברוך אתה אדוני מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה Source of all being, we turn to you as did our people in ancient days. They beheld you in the heavens, they felt you in their hearts, they sought you in their lives. Now their quest is ours. Help us, O God, to celebrate the wonder of being. Give us the courage to search for truth. Teach us the path to a better life. So shall we, by our lives and our labors, bring nearer to realization the great hope inherited from ages past for a world transformed by liberty, justice, and peace. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. You are the source of life and its blessing. Help us to choose life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the fallen. Help us to lift up the fallen. You are the author of freedom. Help us to free the captive. You are our hope in death as in life. Help us to keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Your might, O oh God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. You are kadosh, holy. Your name is Kadosh, holy, and those who strive to be Kedoshim, holy, declare your glory day by day. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. We praise you, eternal one, the holy God. Yismechu v'malechu techa Shomere, shomere, shomere Shabbat Kore onek Shabbat Yismechu v'malechu techa Shomere, shomere, shomere Shabbat Kore onek Shabbat Aham, mekadoshe, mekadoshe shivi Shabbat Shabbat 
God of Israel, may our worship on this Sabbath bring us near to all that is high and holy. May it bind the generations in bonds of love and sharing and unite us with our people in common hope and faith. And through Sabbath rest and worship, may we learn to find fulfillment and joy in the vision of peace for all the world. You are with us in our prayer, in our love and our doubt, and our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble and pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you and there find courage, insight, and endurance. And let our worship bring us closer to one another that all Israel, and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Eternal source of good, we give thanks for the numberless gifts and blessings that fill our days, for life itself and its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of your Torah, which deepens our life and enriches our days. Teach us, God of wonders, to work for a just and compassionate society where all may share your gifts in the joy of freedom. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country that it may always be a stronghold of peace and its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within its borders, health and happiness within its homes, Strengthen the bonds of friendship among the inhabitants of all lands, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. We praise you, O God, the source of peace. So if I say, we said, bless our country, that it may always be a stronghold of peace and its advocate among the nations. Which country do I mean when I say bless our country? Somebody said Israel. Is that what everybody felt? America, Israel, did you feel them both at the same time blended in your hearts? I hope you felt both at the same time. I hope that when you say bless our country, you're thinking both. We take a moment now for silent prayer, whatever is in your hearts or if you need to the bottom of 80 to the top of 81, there's a suggestion for you. We pray silently.
and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O God, my rock and my redeemer. We turn to page 162. I told you there'd be no more quizzes because school was out, but let's see what we remember from this. This is a new month. You'll see the new moon, the sliver of the moon in the sky Thursday night. And so we say, Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohi avotenu v'imotenu shetichadesh alenu et hachodesh haba l'tova u'levracha. O God and God of our ancestors, may the new moon bring us renewed good and blessing. May we have long life, peace, prosperity, and health, a life full of blessing, a life exalted by love of Torah and reverence for the divine, a life in which the longings of our hearts are fulfilled for good. Wondrous God, in ancient days you led our people from bondage to freedom. Redeem us now out of our exile from one another, making all Israel one united people. Rosh Chodesh, who remembers which month is starting soon? Oh, that's the one we're in. Ugh, you guys are still in poo. I said seesaw. What's the seesaw one? Sivan. We are already in ER. We're leaving ER. We're going to Sivan. Um, the 6th of Sivan. This is a date you should always remember. The 6th of Sivan is Shavuot, exactly. Uh huh. We're all confused tonight. Let me just tell you, we're all confused. Rosh Chodesh Sivan Ye Beyom Shishi. The new month of Sivan will begin on. Friday, we read together, God of holiness, let the new month bring for us and for the whole house of Israel life and peace, happiness and joy, deliverance and comfort, and let us say, Amen. We also have to count the Omer, um, so what did we say the day was t starting tonight? We will be at 39, 5 and 4, so we're going to say the blessing for counting the Omer which is the one that we talk about for fulfilling all blessings, that starts with the first six words, praised are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. It continues with the next four, continues with the next four words, who made us holy by giving us commandments and commanded us. And then the end, the punchline is about counting the Omer. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedeshanu, b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu, al svirat haomer. היום תשעה ושלושים יום שהם חמישה שבועות וארבעה ימים. Today is the, tonight starts the 39th day of the Omer, which are five weeks and four days into the Omer. Mazel tov, another mitzvah done today. Um, and now we turn our hearts and our prayers to those who are ill or recuperating as we turn to the inside back cover of a prayer book. And I turn off the microphone because I do not announce the list to the people watching online, but included in our prayers today are Terry Bollinger, Brian Day, Henry Lynn Joseph, Emily Gibson, Elena Howard, James Petrillo Hope, Vicki Mark, Gloria Meyer, Angie Malani, Nancy Wright, David Petrillo, I said cousin. Emily Simpson, Ruth Kaislevsky, Michael Stahl, Herman Van Oss, Sister Mary Jane, Virginia Walker, Helen Weissman, Joe and Norm Weiner, Martha Ann Young, and Gigi Zielinski. If you have other names that you would like us to add to our prayers for healing, I invite you to call them out. <laughs> I love your name. <laughs> for all these names, for the names we hold in our hearts and choose not to say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, in our hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We join our prayers with the prayers of all who love them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them 
and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch atah Adonai, rofei hacholim. We praise you, eternal God, for the source of healing and health. And it has become our tradition to add, Mishaberach avotenu vimotenu. May the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us. In this country, in the land of Israel, everywhere they've been called to serve, may they return home safely and let us say, Amen. So there was one other chunk that I wanted to talk to you about. And, um, and I, we will probably talk a little bit more about Jerusalem and the reunification next week because our tradition is usually to discuss a holiday shortly after if we, you know, if, to show that it's already been here. Um, but some of the quotes that come from today's Torah portion is that the land is mine, you are but strangers resident with me. Uh, since God is the land's only true owner, our task is to maintain the land on God's behalf. As a sign of God's dominion, the people are commanded to, and that's, this is where the line comes from, proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all the inhabitants thereof. It comes from the Torah portion we read tomorrow. But it also says, I will establish my abode in your midst and I will not spurn you. I will be ever present in your midst. I will be your God and you shall be my people. I should give you a little bit of an of a intro to that. Um, towards the end of Leviticus, what we get is a whole slew of commands, but then we get the blessings for what you do, what happens to us when we keep those commands. And then there's this horrible, I can't hear you list, horrible list of things that would happen if you do not keep those commandments. Um, and the thing, the way that God rewards us most, there's rain in its season and all kinds of actually kind of glorious things. I hope you come tomorrow. I said I was only gonna do one commercial, that's already four. Um, but it's about that God will live with us, will dwell with us when we're keeping God's commandment. But then it says that even if we don't keep God's commandments, one of the worst punishments that God gives us, and they, punishments get really pretty terrible, and throughout history, when things have gotten very terrible to the Jews, at some point, someone says, what did we do to deserve this? And we start thinking about, did we not keep commandments well enough? Whatever it was, we, we wonder why we were punished. But one of the ways that we get punished is by being exiled from the land. And God says in the Torah portion, yet even then, when they, meaning us, are in the land of our enemies, I will not reject you or spurn you, so as to destroy you, annulling my covenant with you, for I, Adonai, am your God. And that's part of one of the most important lessons that we learn. Um, a lot of times, I already told you today about a commandment that we probably have all broken, the kind that talks about hurting people's feelings unintentionally. Even if it's something like asking how much something costs in a store, it could hurt somebody's feelings. And sometimes we, don't, we break some of the commandments. Most of the commandments are things that have to do with being decent to each other, and we break them. And one of the lessons we are taught over and over again is that God is, continues to be faithful to us even when we forget to be faithful to God. And we can always come back again. There's gonna be more about that, as I said, tomorrow. But for now, Mr. President is going to tell us something about all of the cool things we're doing in our downtime, <laughs> when there's no school and things are slow. Okay, Shabbat Shalom. This Sunday is mitzvah day for the Jewish community. You are needed at 10 to 12 at Common Ground and from two to four at the Northwest Louisiana Food Bank or cooking throughout the day at the BZ Kitchen. You can choose how much to do. If you haven't signed up yet, the food bank can use as many volunteers as we can get. Please come to 2307 Texas Avenue. The people of the book club will meet Monday evening at seven. The discussion will be about Pearl S. Buck's book called Peony. Peony, yeah, like the flower, I think. The discussion about Jewish 
Answers to Ethical Dilemmas will be at 2 p.m. in the ballroom in the Tower at the Oaks. You're welcome even if you don't live there and even if this is your first time. Wednesday, when, Wednesday, 2 o'clock. Wednesday, come. It's fun. This Wednesday is the 50th anniversary of the reunification of Jerusalem and the Six-Day War. We will celebrate Yom Yerushalayim next Friday evening, May 26th at services. Please note that the Memorial Day ceremonies at the cemeteries will be on Memorial Day, which is May 29th. There was an error in the bulletin article. We begin at 10 a.m. at the B'nai Zion section at Greenwood. Let Rabbi or the office know if you want to join us or if you know of other graves that should have flags posted. We will let you know about the schedule to the ceremonies at the rest of the cemeteries. The office will be closed Monday, May 29th in observance of Memorial Day and Wednesday, May 31st in observance of Shavuot. Shavuot and Yitzkor morning services will be Wednesday, May 31st at 11 a.m. Remember that we will be celebrating our 100th year of confirmation classes, at least 100 years of pictures on the wall on Friday, June 2nd, at our confirmation, Shavuot, and Yitzkor services at 6 p.m. Please join us in celebrating. June 9th and 10th, Malena Mirov will be helping lead the service as a bat mitzvah. Please RSVP to Rick or Maureen if you think you will come. They're hosting the Oneg Shabbat and a Kiddush luncheon and want to know how much food and how many tables they need. Donations were made to B'nai Zion in loving memory of Fanny Goldman by Sharon and Elliot Goldman, in loving memory of Sylvia Rosenzweig by her children. Thank, Thank you, you. Rabbi. Thank you. All right, I need everybody who's under the age of 13 to please boing up the stairs Open the ark. Everyone else is going to. <laughs> Always, they disappear right before we need them. Here they are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Everyone else, please turn to page 148 and rise for the Elenu. Ready? Go. <gasps> it's Torahs. I love to see the Torahs. Elenu l'shabach l'adon hakol. La tate gedula liot ser breshit, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo samanu kemishpachota adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vigohura lenu kichol hamonam, vanahachnu korim, umishtachavim humodim, lifne melech malache hamlachim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu. On the facing page we're going to sing. V'nemar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol haaretz b'yom ha'hu b'yom ha'hu iye Adonai echad u'shimu 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 echad when the ark is closed, you may be seated. Cheeks. It's the girls against the guys. Like, <laughs> watch your fingers. Smoosh. Nice. <laughs> you won. The girls won. I just thought you'd want to know. <laughs> and the girls are boingier. Alex is not as boingy. We continue on page 151, and I, at this time, I, I report to you how many we have lost in the line of duty this year, just this year. Um, we have lost 11 in our military, which includes one in May, but I am also sad to report to you as uh, we are anticipating Memorial Day that we have already lost 6,883 during Enduring Freedom 
Operation, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation New Dawn uh, that have been confirmed by the U.S. Central Command. 6,883. Uh, we've lost 50 police officers this year. It includes seven in May, three in Louisiana, and the number has increased. We are up to eight canine deaths, police canine deaths. Um, and we've lost 38 firefighters this year, three in May, uh, no firefighters from Louisiana this month. May we always remember those people who run into danger in order to protect us. We turn to page 151. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss of life and death. We turn to page 152. It is hard to sing of oneness when our world is not complete, when those who once brought wholeness to our life have gone, and naught but memory can fill the emptiness their passing leaves behind. But memory can tell us only what we were in company with those we loved. It cannot help us find what each of us alone must now become. Yet no one is really alone. Those who live no more echo still within our thoughts and words. And what they did is a part of what we have become. We do best homage to our dead when we live our lives most fully, even in the shadow of our loss. For each of our lives is worth the life of the whole world. In each one is the breath of the ultimate one. In affirming the one, we affirm the worth of each one whose life now ended brought us closer to the source of life in whose unity no one is alone and every life finds purpose. However brief may be our time on earth, O oh God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has taken from us this past month. This past month we lost Shirley Seligman and David Quinn. And as we remember those who died at this season in years past, we take them into our hearts with our own. Those for whom obser we're observing your sites this week include Albert Axel, Morris Barron, Annie Feigelson, Elsie Goldberg, Fanny Goldman, Elizabeth Hamner, Harold Levy, Charles Meyer, Sylvia Rosenzweig, and Mary Elaine Vasca. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise as together we praise your name. The Mourner's Cottage is found on page 154. Translation is on 155. You're welcome to join us in the translation. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shimei rabba be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute b'chayachon u'v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol b'yit Yisrael ba'agala u'v'zman kariv v'imru amen yehe shimei rabba mevarach le'alam u'alamei almaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase V'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shmei dekudshah b'richu la'elam min kol berchata v'shirata tush b'chata v'nechemata da'amiran be'alma v'imru amen yehe shalom araba min shemaya v'chaim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen ose shalom yomramav hu ya'ase shalom alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. You may be seated, and those boingy ones, the ones under 12, I need you one more time. Our closing song is music to our ears. We're going to in front. Because, what's under here? Bread. Chala. Chala, hold the bottom. It's adorable, perfect for all of you. Ah, Marguerite made it too. Very sneaky. Ready? Hamotzi lachem in haaretz We give thanks to God for bread Our voices rise in song together As our joyful prayer is 
said, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Hamotzi lechem min haaretz, Vateravon. That's all yours. I get the board, you get the brachala. Take it, take it, take it. I get this. <laughs> There's more challah for grown-ups that haven't been touched by little boingling's fingers. Up there. That's why we do this. Make sure everybody has it. Yay, you're a family. As soon as I put the microphone in front of her face, she forgot the words. I would take it away and she started singing again. She knew the words. By the way, she started doing this after. It was adorable. Please rise for the closing benediction. There are a lot of ways that we do feel connected to land. But speaking as someone who has moved around a bunch, um, I feel more connected to people. And I am very glad that I'm here with you today and that you came to be here with us today. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's face always be lifted up to you. And may God grant you peace. Shabbat shalom. Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim.